My name is Mark. Welcome to my home. This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Today we're going to do an upgrade video. Um, some of my upgrades are small. Some of my upgrades are huge. This one is going to be a really big one. Probably the biggest thing that I've done to this trailer. And I've done, you've, if you've been following me, you know I've done some really awesome stuff to this guy. So here we go. Um, we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you um, <laughs> what uh, what's uh, motivating this change, and uh, we'll show you how it's going to happen. But in and I'm going. My my wife wants her kitchen cabinet. Um, so let's go take. Okay. Look. Here we are inside. In the 2015. Um, it has you know the typical small small kitchen i've put in a much much bigger sink for my wife um she loves that a nicer faucet um she has i moved the uh, drain over and back so she's got lots of space here um, she loves that but this was a design issue um i don't know what's going on um why they decided to do that other than it was convenient but truly, half of her kitchen space, this is a water tank. And it's nice in that I get to see what my water level is. But uh, this is too small of a trailer to lose water um, storage space like that. So what I'm going to do, that water tank is coming out. The other issue, this is our bathroom. I'll turn the light on in here. The other issue that tab trailers have is back behind that is the water pump and all of the associated plumbing for it is in there well here's the deal in this trailer the water tank is here and the water pump is here and it's not hard when you turn the pump on for that pump to pull water up but when i move this to this water tank underneath the trailer that's going to have to work a whole lot harder to pull up and lots of people have that problem where it's having to pull water so far up that the pump can never prime right i mean you see that over and over and over people say they turn the pump on and it runs but it doesn't pull any water and that's because of the distance it has to pull so what i'm going to do is all of that all of that all of it is coming out that is coming out that is coming out and all of it is going underneath my trailer let me show you that. okay so here we are underneath the trailer and you can see here that's my gray water tank but if you look over here there's nothing here nothing at all so they sell water tanks just like the gray tanks that are mounted up underneath they're called belly tanks so I'm going to put a water tank right here. I'm also going to put a waterproof container, a box to hold my pump and the, the pump filter and an expansion tank in the whole shot in a box underneath here so that that um, pump won't have to prime very far at all. In fact, the pump will be below the water line in the tank, so it won't have to suck at all. It'll just pump it straight up. A pump can much easier push water. It can push water a lot farther than it can suck water. So the fact is that there will be no, the no priming issue at all when the tank has water in it, so will the pump. So we're gonna put a box here 
where the pump and the filter, and I'm gonna put an expansion tank all in here. Just behind that, closer to the axle, is gonna be the actual water tank itself. The nice thing that that's gonna, let me show you what that's gonna do inside so the trailer. So back inside the trailer, my wife will get that entire, that entire space back. Also, if you look here, I'm gonna be able to, after I take all that out, I'm gonna put a big cabinet here, a big cabinet, a nice medicine cabinet, big thing, shelves, I don't know what yet, but a nice big, because look how deep that is and nice, um, nice, probably twice that size, not with a lid like this, get rid of this real awkward thing, do something really nice back there for all the shampoo and soap and everything. Um, yay, like that idea a lot. So we're gonna get all that pump materials coming out so we get that space. All this water tank is coming out so we get that space. We get more water. Having the pump underneath the trailer means it will be quiet. It won't be that thump, 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 because it'll be quiet, it'll be outside the trailer. Um, lots and lots and lots of benefits to this. So we're gonna cut this here. Um, big doings, <laughs> big, big project. Uh, we're going to start with this assembly um, and this is it's cold here uh, it's below freezing but the good thing is is that my trailer has been winterized and blown out there is no water anywhere so this is the time to do all this work so in the next video you'll see uh, um, some disassembly i may actually do a drawing and show you where stuff is going to go um, and we're going to go ahead and, and do all this um, should make the inside of this trailer that much more storage, that much more storage, water pump that doesn't cavitate, and um, quieter, more water. Um, lots and lots and lots of benefits for doing this. Not going to be easy, but uh, we're up for it. I'll see you in the next one.